Summit has been something that we've been discussing for about the last couple of years. Uh, it was just a matter of finding the right time to, to get started. We really felt like the beginning of the new cycle is the right time to do it. So it's, it's something that we hopefully we can improve upon, but at the same time something that we're likely to do every two years. The camp itself, I think it's a great experience for the players. It's a great way for us to send one message to all of our best players at one time. And it's incredibly uh, valuable to be able to build, to team build as a whole organization rather than just one team at a time. So our integration meeting was to sort of put together in front of all the players and all our staff something where they would be able to walk out after the meeting and know really what we're about. And not just our youth national teams department, but our whole federation. We're all training the same, we're all prepared the same way, and all of our coaches are doing all they can to stay at the top of the game so that we can continue and accelerate your development. I think we gave a good feel for what our sporting division is about, in particular two other departments that we work very closely with, um, one being the high performance department and the other being the talent identification department. And so we had the opportunity to integrate some of those speakers. James Bunce, our director of high performance, was here speaking to, to everyone, as was Tony Lepore from the talent identification department. We also had Michael Cameraman from the senior national team come out and talk about social media. We have all young players here and the social media aspect is very, very important and something they have to be very aware of that they can use to their advantage. And so, yeah, it's been, it's been a complete sort of look at, at who we are, what we do, and how we do it. I think one of the important things about this cycle that we're starting is that this cycle has to be willing to push the envelope. We have an under-20 national team that's defending CONCACAF champion for the first time ever. Uh, and I think we need to figure out how we carry that responsibility into World Cup qualifying since it's never been done before. We have both the under-20 national team and under-17 team having been quarter-finalists at this last World Cup. And that's something that, you know, if we're looking to improve, you're looking at going into semifinals or World Cup or going to the final. So there's a, there's a lot of expectation here. There's a lot of high expectation here. And at the same time, we realize that you know, what's important here is that we continue to produce players for our senior national team. The goal continues to, to get better and to, and to go a step further than the last time and to do things that have never been done before. Um, we've been able to do that over the last couple cycles and we hope that we can continue to do that into the future.